very dear friend without an appointment. After the funeral, my daughter went back to her old convent school. It is a place for holy orders. May I ask why? She loved her brother. You do allow people to grieve in America. You've packed her off to the nuns. So it's down to God now, is it? I have something I'd like to say. <laughs> Can it possibly be anything worth listening to? Madam, seven years ago, you killed your husband in this house. Really? Unfortunately, your husband knew what you were doing. My husband was barely conscious those last days. And he signed a paper before he died. Nobody else was in the room at that time. He died of natural causes. To say otherwise is preposterous. Don't you dare tell me what is in the history of my life or any other member of this house. Nobody else was there. Should we begin by taking this through the courts? It's a macabre lie. What has brought you down to this? I understand what you're doing. Your life has taught you to use these desperately low measures. And you presume to think that this is how you will enter my family. You've done me a great service by revealing so much. As for the document, if it even exists... My mother sacrificed her life to sustain this family. My father never loved her. It was an arranged marriage and she came with the furniture. What would you do? Send her to jail? If need be, yes. And what would all this do to Claire? That's between us. It is my role to protect what we have left. So, beware of me, my friend. It wasn't easy to make this visit. I'm flattered. Will you show me the letter? I'd be quite willing, but... Don't imagine I would destroy it, sir. my husband wrote is true. Thank you. But you can know nothing of the real nature of my life with him. What I endured, what was forced upon me. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? We do business. I cannot. I'm willing to destroy this paper on the following terms. I will not deal with a blackmailer. You may call me anything you like. What shall I call you? Please. Can you bear the disgrace? Do you want Claire to find out that you murdered her father and why? No. I want you to release whatever control it is you have over Claire. Never. Then I'll destroy you. I agree. I 
I want official public notification of the wedding. And I want you to swear to me, in whatever blood you have, that you will never tell Claire what you've done. I swear, she will never know. You have taken my right to live according to my rules. You've taken Valentine. Now, Claire. I have nothing left. I know you think I'm hiding from you, but I'm not. I chose to be here, Christopher. I could have sent word. Instead, you just vanish. You said to me once that all the mice were in chains. Well, not anymore. I've spoken with your mother. There are no more obstacles. You think of me in such a way does me a great honor. My love, look at me. Look at what happens around me. Why am I the cause of so much unhappiness? It is as if I do not have the right to happiness. Now, now you know why I am afraid. I am cold. No. I'll go to your house. Get those things that you need. And then I'll come back and get you. But this time we leave.
Where are they? Madam left for the country this morning. I, uh, I saw her carriage. What is it? I shouldn't have come back. Where's Henri? Is that it? He's still here, isn't he? Sir, I can't tell you what I fear. centuries. Suppose I could live there and not be with you. Do you understand the shame? What shame? Christopher, you have given me so much, but let me go. Let me dream. Do, do, you, do you remember what you said about the past and how I was never there with you? I remember nothing. I remember you talked about me not being there on, on, on the porch in the moonlight. Perhaps now I can be there with you in spirit. And those other places. Where were they? My love, tell me for me. <sighs> A rail car on the prairie. I can do that. What else? A dance on Independence Day. I can dance. Now. We know each other. No matter how brief. Perhaps you can see me there with you in all those places, even if it is not real to you. Allow me that. I can be there, always. Finally, 
He is the young American who let the Bell Guards go. Out of his good nature, after they had held him in their power. But at what cost? To learn more about Henry James, the James family, and the American, visit American Collection online at pbs.org.